Uh, dear students, so today we will uh, talk about the first chapter of machine learning and it's about the introduction of machine learning. Yeah, in this chapter, uh, this chapter has been um, deduced from this book, Artificial Intelligence for Business, and by the Doc Ross. And, uh, and it is like, you know, you can see artificial intelligence uh, and machine learning that are interconnected to each other. So we can say that artificial intelligence is the broad umbrella while machine learning is a subset of the artificial intelligence and uh, and then from machine learning we go to the deep learning. So usually the chapter which is starting is like you know a chapter like 18, 19 onward. So from here you can see that we can learn that what is like machine learning and how we uh, like you know can give you more in-depth knowledge about that so here is another book by russell and norwich and it's about about artificial intelligence and modern approach <clears throat> so we will learning from examples because machine learning is like you know uh, basically it's you can say it's a um, it's a kind of a, a black box uh, techniques in which we uh, like you know apply some examples and from that examples we get uh, the output so from example, I mean that we need a, a good amount of data sets and from with, by playing with these data sets, we can get like you know, some meaningful predictions uh, for future. Uh, so here we need to like, you know, uh, divide the data into either two parts or three parts, like for example, training uh, part and testing part, or sometimes we, uh, we divide it into the training, testing, and in between that one, we put the validation as well. To, uh, to avoid the overfitting. So uh, these are like, you know, things uh, which we gonna study in the machine learning is about uh, knowledge in learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforced learning. And the last but not the least, the deep learning. So as you can see that AI is the main, like, you know, bigger circle where we talk about a simulation of human intelligence in computer while Machine learning is more, is more about like programming of algorithms to learn from the past experience while deep learning is related to the different layers. So the more layers we have it, the more accurate we have the results. So it's a, you can say it's a branch of artificial intelligence and uh, with the design and development of the algorithms, uh, you can say it's a process of uh, teaching computers to learn so, uh, from data involves developing algorithms and uh, most important thing is automatically detect patterns and make prediction on that one as i told you earlier and uh, this contract with the traditional programming we have program writes code that explicitly tells the machine what to do but here machine tells us that what will be the results right so this is like more interesting thing in machine learning rather than the traditional programming so here is again the same things uh, like with the more elaboration so machine learning is a subset of ai which is used statistical methods like uh, of like some uh, probabilities, uh, some decision trees or clustering to enable machine to improve the experiences. So um, what is a machine learning? Like it's an agent you can say is learning to imp like improves its performance after making observation about the world. Uh, when the agent is a computer, uh, like you know, we can call it as a machine learning or computer observes some data, builds a model on that one and then make a, and they use the model as both hypothesis about the world and piece of software that can be uh, solve the problems. So these are like some bookish um, definitions about the that why we uh, want the machine learning because uh, we have a lot of uh, data is coming because of the big data, whether it's the stock data, whether it's like data from sensor. So a huge amount of the data is there and uh, intrinsically there is a pattern in the data. So we need to explore this pattern by using uh, some models and algorithms. Here, machine learning like involves use mathematical procedure algorithms. Okay, uh, sometimes we go for relationship, correlation, situations. Uh, like for example, some question: people who buy chicken often buy potatoes. Lack of experience is correlated with the heart diseases uh, or exercises. I mean, uh, a poor credit history is treated with the higher insurance claims. Washing machines are a cube shaped. Most umbrellas are long and thin. So these are like you know normal examples to find some like you know patterns over here. Once the relationship have been identified, then these can be used to make inference uh, from the behavior of the new cases 
and can present some like themselves appropriate actions that can be made as well so like we can say send discounts coupons for potatoes to the people why uh, who buy chickens like um, often offer non-active people from the gym membership don't offer the best insurance deals to people with the poor credit history and if the object is a cube shape so it's mostly likely a washing machine so <clears throat> In essence, uh, this is analogous to the way people learn, like, you know, so similarly, he, uh, machine learning, they also learn, they observe the things, they draw conclusions and, uh, and apply with the new data set. So build a model that is a good and useful approximation to the data, uh, like, for example, learning general models from the data of particular examples, data is cheap and abundant, right, as I told you, big data is there, um, uh, customer transaction to the human behaviors, we have people who bought uh, da Vinci Coda also bought the five people you met in the heaven. So these are like, you know, uh, different inferences you can make it from the purchasing behavior. So what is the machine learning? Uh, optimize the performance criteria using examples, data, and past experience. Role of statistics are there. Role of computer science are there. And solve optimization problem to choose the best way. And representing and evaluating the model for the model for the inference. So these are some bookish definitions. We will see that how we can use in the daily life. So machine learning is connected with machine learning problem, machine learning resources, machine learning tools. We have it like we can use like a, a, a Python. A lot of, a lot of uh, um, algorithms are there. We can use Kaggle. We can use uh, uh, Colab. We can use like uh, GitHub. Like a lot of like, you know, tools we have it. Machine learning uh, or rapid miner is also a very handy tool. Uh, machine learning mathematics what's running under the hood when it's uh, when you write a code so yeah the logic behind that one and machine learning processes are developed uh, as a result of this one and a step in the machine learning project okay. so <clears throat> now this is very like you know daily life examples it's a very interesting example you say uh, for example traditional programming is like you you know um, start with cut the vegetables, uh, season chicken, uh, preheat the oven, cook ch chicken for 30 minutes and add vegetables like and it makes like you know the, the ready made chicken. So traditional programming is like you know each and every individual ingredients you have to check with it while in machine learning things are more like automated. <clears throat> so uh, here is like you know more uh, the similar example and uh, it tells you like you know more uh, realistic way that how in the daily work things work okay so machine learning is like this one so here um, uh, here you see uh, start with like you know you have input you have the output and then you make the figure out these are the different rules so here the, the difference you can see over here that uh, in traditional programming you have to make some rules and then according to the rules it will follow it but in in uh, machine learning you need we need input and output it's just like a black box and then we uh, like figure it out that what are the rules behind it right so then we detect the rules from it so is it good the machine learning of course like if you are taking benefit from it problems with the long list of rules we have it continuously changing environment uh, so machine learning can adapt to new scenarios discovering inside within the large collection of the data can you imagine trying go through every transaction in your large company is very difficult so machine learning can easily do it for us uh, what we're going to cover like you know machine learning problems what are the machine learning processes machine learning tool machine learning mathematics machine learning resources we have it uh, this already we discussed it so uh, before like you know putting the data into the machine so we need uh, data collection properly preparation choose a model which model will be best for quantitative data qualitative data train the model with the 70 percent of the data or 60 percent of the data evaluate the model for uh, underfitting and overfitting parameters tuning uh, and then make the predictions accordingly <coughs> Yeah, so uh, we have three kinds of learning, which is called supervised learning. In this one, like, you know, you know that what will be the outputs uh, of your input. And supervised learning, you don't know how many outputs will be there, like clusters. Supervised learning is just like decision tree. You know that how many uh, trees would be there, how many, like, you know, branches of the trees would be there. While in reinforcing learning, the agent learns from a series of reinforcements. Uh, there is a rewards and punishment. And then... Uh, when you get feedback and then you get your results so you make uh, there is a, a corrective process and there is a reward process and a corrective process so reward process means that you can rely on that result in the future and punishment process means that you cannot rely on that result you need to correct it 
Okay. So uh, machine learning, like you can say, uh, uh, supervised learning, as I told you, regression classifications, unsupervised uh, examples are clustering, dimensional, uh, dimensionality reduction means sometimes if we have 1000 uh, columns or dimensions and it's some, some are useless. So you can filter out, out like 100 columns or maybe 51 or 20, the best one. And reinforcement, like, you know, we have like game AI, skill acquisition, learning tasks, support navigation, and real-time decision. So as I told you, in supervised learning, we know the fixed input and output, and that's why uh, uh, the input and outputs are clearly just like in decision uh, decision making algorithms. While in supervised, uh, like this is also supervised learning, and uh, for example, um, uh, we learn from this one, whether it's a duck or not a duck, and from this one, the supervised learning, they, they tell you yes. So next time when the new example you feed it, so it, it can easily detect it based on your algorithm that it's a duck. So in the supervised learning, we can see names based algorithms are important, decision trees, support vector machine, random forest, k near neighbor, linear regression, neural network, support vector machine, decision decision, and lasso regression, bridge regression. So and while in unsupervised k-mean clustering, DD scan, hierarchical Gaussian mixture, while in uh, reinforcement, uh, Q learning, R learning, and TD learning. These are like, you know, things. So support SVM is just do when you want to divide the data into two parts, like the left and right, and that is uh, most important. It's a very old technique, but it's, it's very handy one. Uh, random forest is also the collection of the, uh, multiple decision trees to have a majority of the voting. And then after the voting, you get a final result. Uh, basket analysis is used for marketing to see that uh, which which items are morally sold and how you can like you know enforce other things to be sold along with the existing algorithms and it is mostly uh, based on the probabilities. Uh, yeah, credit scoring can also be done on that one. These are the different examples. Uh, you just go through that one. Yeah, uh, face recognition it is also very important for face recognition. You can you can input like you know. 1000 and 2000 and 3000 of faces and then you go for train them and then you can test it uh, based on the new techniques over here regression as you know we know that there is like you know x axis and y axis and from x axis and y axis we can see that how uh, things like you know uh, go behind so regression tell us whether it's the, there is a relationship is positive or negative relationship between that one yeah so regression line you can see that uh, uh, there are some points which covers maximum points so this is called fitting fitting the model if it is not covering most of the points so it's not fitting so in supervised learning yeah so prediction it is used knowledge extraction compression and outlier detections and unsupervised learning like uh, as i told you clustering grouping that is like in crm image compression bioinformatics it can be used so when you cluster together a similar items like apples and bananas and mangoes that's called clustering. So similar uh, things uh, can be grouped together. Yeah, so these are like, you know, different examples we have it. And uh, reinforcement is that when there is a feedback, there is a reward system and there's a punishment system. So it, it is like, you know, mostly used and it's also used in chat GPT and Gemini as well. So reinforcement learning is the problem of getting an agent to act in the world so as to maximize its rewards, right? So, uh, so there are some, some examples like we have it like Q learning, R learning and TD learning. And so we'll have some more discussion on it in the lecture chapter. So these are just like, you know, few examples uh, that for example, like you know, in the above example, this is not a duct for sure. And uh, so here when there is a not duct, so there is a punishment. If it is a duct, so there is a reward for it, right? So learning a policy, a sequence of outputs, uh, no supervised outputs, delays, credit assignment problem. Uh, gaming problem robot in the maze uh, multiple agents and partially observable right so uh, these are like you know a few of the examples uh, so in later example we will have some more it and some policies uh, there are certain things which you need to remember like set of actions we represent with the a set of stages as uh, rewards r policy with the pi and value with the v and you can see the reward and punishment system and this is like you know how it works this is one of the example for the deep learning this is another example. So uh, you can go through these resources. These are very uh, like useful resources, like some YouTube videos I have collected for you in the TensorFlow and, and uh, PyTorch. And uh, thank you very much, and uh, see you in the next uh, chapter.